சிவாயனன திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் வெல்கம் பேக் அண்ட் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் இஸ் அபவுட் குரு இன் டுடேஸ் லைஃப் எனி ஒன் அண்ட் எவ்ரி ஒன் வி சி இன் அவர் லைஃப் வி ஆர் ஜஸ்ட் காலிங் தெம் ஆஸ் அ குரு இஸ் இட் ரைட் ஹவு டு ஆன்சர் திஸ் யூஸிங் அவர் சேன்ஸ் வேர்ட்ஸ் விச் இஸ் தி விச் இஸ் த டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் திருமுறை இட் செல்ஃப் தட் இஸ் வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு அனலைஸ் ஃபார் டுடே இமேஜின் you are giving me a book i am able to internalize the book i am able to come up with a clear concept of that and i am able to articulate it in a very interesting and in an attractive manner i am not going to be called as a guru over there rather i am a speaker alternatively i have been practicing singing for 30 40 50 years since my childhood i have been practicing singing which means i have become an expert right now I am able to teach others to sing or rather I am singing myself. I am not going to be called as a guru, rather I am only a teacher or I am a singer. Now who can be called as a teacher? When we talk about teachers, just look around you. Whoever you are associated with, just look around you. Are you able to categorize them under one of the following trees that I am going to talk about? one very well known tree according to indian uh, indian science is the banyan tree it's supposed to be one of the most auspicious and very very famous trees according to our culture and what's the significance of a banyan tree is it will not let any other plants beneath it to grow but we can rest peacefully under that we can rest beneath a banyan tree but we can never grow are you associated with a teacher who doesn't let you grow you are just being there just by your own self and right from day 1 until today you are just in the same situation then probably your teacher is a banyan tree alternatively we can talk about a plantain tree plantain tree is the same as a banana tree so when you talk about a banana plant rather If you look at it the characteristics of a banana or a plantain tree is it doesn't let other plants grow but rather it lets its own shoot to grow which means we are talking about more like a nepotism can we have nepotism in religious and spiritual matters of course yes we are able to see that as well so which means i let my sister grow i let my mom grow i let my daughter grow i let my husband grow i let my son grow or even my son in law to grow rather than letting someone else to grow is what we call it as a nepotism tree which is basically a banyan tree or a plantain tree alternatively a teacher can also be a sandalwood tree who doesn't like sandalwood isn't it it's such an aromatic tree and some more it is used in aromatherapy as well right now in order for relaxation who doesn't like it but do you know what's the secret behind the sandalwood tree to grow for a grow up that rich and uh, with that kind of a potential because it is semi parasitic if you look at it there is a special root which a sandalwood tree has which goes be below the sand be below the mud, uh, soil itself to the nearby plant and it sucks out all the energy and water from the other plants and feeds its own self is your teacher the same way getting all the inputs and the knowledge from you and speak up as if it is their own and they grow themselves but the ideas are from you probably you are associated with a sandalwood tree teacher how about the next one if you look at singapore there's a lot of trees around the road that we will see we don't even know the name of those trees but it will be the trees are such humongous in size but you will not know the name of the tree but if you look at it it grows variety of plants on it right from orchids all the way to so many shrubs that will be most of those are parasitic in nature and it just sucks on this tree attached to the tree and grows in a real sumptuous manner so if you look at it these are the real teachers who help the others to grow so in one particular tree you will see 5 10 varieties of plants 
st st stuck to it and just growing, uh, growing in a very uh, luxurious manner, I would even say. So those are the real teachers. Are you associated with that? Then really you're blessed to be associated with, with that, those kind of teachers. And you know the interesting factor is sandalwood tree, banyan tree, plantain tree are so well known but it doesn't let others grow. Whereas when we talk about these trees where the names are even not known but they let others grow and these are the real teachers around us. We have to be associated only with such teachers so that we can see a magnificent growth in our spiritual life as well. Now, what should we do in order to get a guru? The only guru, as I said, is Dakshina Murti. So what we have to do is every day morning pray to him. If we don't understand his language, the way how he is communicating, if we are not clear, no worries. Just stand in front of him and tell him, seek for his advice and tell him, I need guidance, I need to know how to move on, but I'm not able to understand your subtle language. Would you be able to help me in, in such a way that I'm able to understand? Just keep this prayer in front of Dakshinamurti and you will see a lot of improvement in your spiritual journey. All the best in the spiritual journey. First is we have to stop calling everyone as Guru. The only Guru according to Saiva Siddhantam is Dakshinamurti. All the others are teachers and the teachers are there to give us a little bit of an idea but they are not gurus. So this is the most important one we need to understand and evaluate what kind of a teacher are you yourselves associated with that and it is high time to re-evaluate your associations as well. With that, I conclude this particular topic and I'll come back with, again with another interesting topic. Until then, Sivayanamal Tirchitrampalam.